Hey team, welcome back to our Math Olympiad BMO test paper walkthrough series. If you're passionate about mathematics and love a good challenge, you've come to the right place. So in this series, we'll be diving into question three of the BMO test paper, exploring intriguing problems and mastering the problem solving techniques. So grab your pen, brace yourself, and let's conquer the BMO together. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an exhilarating episode. So let's get ready for the math adventure of a lifetime. Alex and Katie play a game on an 8x8 square grid made up of 64 unit cells. They take it in turns to play with Alex going first. On Alex's turn, he writes A in an empty cell. On Katie's turn, she writes K in two empty cells that share an edge. The game ends when one player cannot move. Katie's score is the number of Ks on the grid at the end of the game. What is the highest score Katie can be sure to get if she plays well, no matter what Alex does? In a question like this, often the best starting point is to try the game yourself. I didn't want to play on an 8x8 board because it would take a very long time, but I've chosen a smaller board. And that's a 4x4 board because I felt that maybe it's important to take a look at an even number of squares. So I've had a few games and I was trying to be as strategic as possible, both when being Alex and when being Katie. Here are the results. I found that every single time Katie was scoring 8. And this led me to think that maybe the answer is that the maximum score of KT is half the number of squares. So that would give us an answer of 32. But to prove that, we need to show two things. One, we need to show that KT can always get 32 on our 8x8 board. And two, we need to show that Alex has a strategy to stop her from going over 32. So... First, we're going to take a look at how Katie can guarantee at least 32 every single time. So let's go ahead and create a board with 2x2 two two squares. I've cut the board up into 16 smaller squares, 2x2 two two squares. And what Katie's going to do is try to play in the same small square as Alex every single time. So Alex can choose anywhere where he likes to play. Once he's played there, there's three squares left. So Katie can play in the same two by two squares. And then on the next go, Alex can choose somewhere else to play. And Katie can go in the same square. So we're using one of these two by two squares in each of these moves. So it could happen that Alex could play in a square that's already been used. And if that's the case, then Katie can use any of the empty two by two squares. So in this way, we're guaranteeing that in every pair of move that Alex is followed by Katie, we're using exactly one of the two by two squares. There are 16 two by two squares, so there will be 16 pairs of moves, which means Katie will play 16 times, and so Katie will score 32. But obviously, it might be that there's some more moves that can be played after that. But we know that Katie can score at least 32 moves that can play after that every single time she plays using this strategy. So the next step in this problem is to show that Alex has a strategy to make sure that Katie never scores more than 32. And I mentioned right in the beginning that when I was playing around with this, it felt like it was useful for Alex to play in squares of one colour if it was coloured in like a chessboard. So I've coloured in our board so you can see the two separate colours that I've put in. Now, Alex is always going to try this strategy to play in the yellow squares. So now let's go ahead and give him a position. And we've got Alex in a yellow square. But when Katie has a go, she has to play in one black and white. So we've got Katie in one black and one white. And then for Alex, we can go ahead and give him a position as well. But in every position that we have at the minute, what do we notice? Well, we notice that in every single go, we're using up one of the white squares. Now, because there are 32 white squares on this board, 
This limits the number of goes to 32. And Katie would have had half of those goes. So she would have had 16 goes and written K into two squares every time. So her score would be limited to 32 every time. So we've shown not only that it's possible for Katie to make sure that she can get 32 every time, but we've also shown that Alex can make sure that she can get no more than 32. So the maximum that can be guaranteed is 32. So I hope that question was clear and I hope you can see the steps we've taken to achieve this. Now, please do remember to always break down a question into smaller, more manageable parts, which can then allow you to dissect the problem better. Thank you for joining us on this thrilling Math Olympiad BMO test paper walkthrough. We hope you enjoyed tackling the challenging problems and gaining valuable insights into the world of mathematics. So until next time, keep chasing those dreams and embrace the joy of problem solving. See you in the next video.